A local man is out thousands of dollars through no fault of his own. He thought insurance would cover him, but boy, oh boy, was he wrong. Yeah, Local 12's Christian Hauser has a story on why it could still cost you even if you do everything right. Mike Ward, a local math and physics teacher, learned a numbers lesson he wished he hadn't. His car was hit by another vehicle in this area of Bloom Road during a snowstorm in January. The other driver had insurance, so Ward thought it would be a quick process to get his car fixed or replaced. Well, it turns out that would be the start of a week's long battle to get a fair amount of money to replace his car, and it's a warning for us all. As soon as I, my vehicle was in the accident, I was pretty sure it was going to be totaled. It's a 08 Honda with 215,000 miles. It was, and Ward started looking online to find a comparable car from around the same model year. But he couldn't find one within 100 miles for less than $5,500. I checked cars.com and also couldn't find a similar car for less than $5,500. Then Ward learned how much the insurance company thought his car was worth. A car of mine in perfect condition would be worth $4,000. Similar cars on the web were going for well north of $6,500 because of this crazy uh, used car market we're in. His Civic wasn't in perfect condition, so he was only offered $2,500. He refused and said he couldn't replace it for anything close to that. With the current used car market, any one of us could be in the same situation. And unfortunately, there's not much you can do. Car and Driver recommends doing what Ward did and seeing what similar cars are selling for. It also says to check the Kelly Blue Book and NADA for current values. I checked and Ward's car was estimated to be worth between $2,400 and $3,900 on KBB and NADA it valued it at $2,500 to $4,000. Looks like those sites aren't keeping up with the current market either. If that doesn't work, you can always hire an independent adjuster to try and prove your car's worth. Lastly, you can sue or go to arbitration to try and resolve it. After weeks and weeks of fighting, Ward was able to get what he felt was a reasonable offer for his car. It still wasn't what it would cost to replace it, but at this point, he was tired of fighting. In Indian Hill, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. You can learn more about how to find your vehicle's value and what you can do to prove your vehicle is worth more than the insurance company says it is.